What is up everybody, it is Wick here. I'm about to go sourcing, looking for things I can buy and sell on eBay. But first I got some things I've sold on eBay. I bought this TV at Goodwill. I think I only paid $5 for it. Maybe I paid $10 for it. It's just a vintage Sony TV, it looks like from the 60s. Ended up selling it for $60 plus shipping for a total of $107.77. Got these Milwaukee safety vests at Home Depot. I believe I paid $5 for them. Sold them for $18. Shipping out this Uniden loud and clear phone. I don't remember where I got this. I'm sure I didn't pay much for it. But I ended up selling it for $60. Picked up this Season 1 Reaper DVD. Paid $2 for it at a Goodwill. Sold it for $15. I believe it's Season 2 that goes for like $40 or $50, or at least it used to. Got these little Yahtzee handhelds. This is the last one I sold. They had packaging damage. Uh, the trial battery wasn't working, so I decided to sell them on eBay. You never know if the battery inside has started to corrupt and leaking everywhere, so you don't want to sell something like that on Amazon. In the end, I sold it for $14. I ended up buying the Beginner's Bible. This is the Bible on cards, basically. Paid $2.99 for them at Goodwill. Sold it for $20 plus shipping for a total of $26.76. Could have got maybe a little bit more money. Some of the dividers back here look like they've been chewed by an animal. But the cars themselves are in good condition. Some of the packs are not even opened. Also, the, the storage box eh, has some wear on it. But still, made some great profit on it. It was very easy to list. Got a Sony DVD recorder I picked up at the thrift store for $5. Didn't have a remote, not a great model. However, I sold it on eBay for $45 plus shipping for a total of $58.58. .58. Bought a couple of these Magic Tub and Tile refinishing kits at Home Depot, paid about $14 for them. Sold this one for $45. And then finally, I sold two of these Craftsman wrench sets. I got about 64 of these from Lowe's for a liquidation deal and been selling them for about $40 plus shipping. I think I got about 8 or $9 in each one. Unfortunately, this is the last one I have at the house. I have to go over to my storage and get some more. I'm not sure how many I got left. I believe about 20 more left to sell. Here they are, it looks like I got six in each box. Three boxes, 18 of them left, so I'll get one in the box I brought, tape it up, get it shipped out with the rest of the stuff, but uh, as soon as it warms up a little, I'm gonna have to get in here and clean up this garage. Uh, I got quite a bit of stuff you can see to list. Uh, most of it's just eBay at this point. I think I've got most of the Amazon stuff sold this past Christmas season. I uh, still got that nice, cool, vintage Batman playset over there. Garfield phone to list. So much good stuff. Also, a lot of stuff I just have to donate to the thrift stores. Uh, there's another Webster's Dictionary I got. Don't even know where that came from. But you know what? I'll get to it. I'll get to it someday. I am now in the first stop of the day, a Goodwill, and we are looking for the goods to flip. Got a box of something there. I'm not sure what that was. I think it was a meat grinder, if I remember correctly now. I looked it up. It wasn't worth picking up, unfortunately price kind of high got some of these minion inflatables down here christmas inflatables now these would have been worth picking up if they weren't priced 50 dollars for one maybe not even at 50 dollars, but they weren't new or i couldn't tell if they were new uh, it's hard to say with those you don't want to buy them and they have a hole in them and you have to inflate them and check them and make sure they're working and everything just a big hassle but if they're new i've i've sold them on amazon for over 200 dollars those minion inflatables so something to keep an eye out for usually i buy them at lowe's though so i know they're new get them on clearance got some logitech speakers there nothing special don't know what the price was on those you got some pajama pants hanging here someone apparently didn't want got some headphones again nothing special not Bose. <laughs> I have found Bose headphones before. It's actually what I'm using right now. I decided to keep them. They're very nice. I think I paid like $5 for them a few years ago at Goodwill. Got this doll I'm kind of looking at. Uh, 
I don't know why. I wasn't sure what kind of doll it was. It, I don't know. remember ever seeing it. Got a little bag of rubber duckies. And it's, it's weird. At Goodwill, I see a lot of bags of rubber duckies. Um, rubber ducks. <laughs> so I don't know, you know where they're coming from. I, I've looked up some different ones before. I've uh, never found any worth picking up to sell. So I just leave them there in that bag. Toy shelves at this Goodwill are looking a little bare. Not a whole lot of games or toys. Usually it's packed full, but that's okay. We're still going to look and see if anything can be found. And got uh, nothing. Nothing found. So we move on to the next Goodwill. Uh, sometimes you strike out in the stores. More often than not, actually. You know, a lot of you see this footage and you think I'm finding stuff constantly. There's a lot of hours put in looking um, in many stores. Many times you just don't see the stuff to buy. Here's a Naruto DVD set. I thought that could be special. It wasn't. Not worth picking up. Ended up putting it back. Same with this Hot Wheels. Nothing special here. It's even got some packaging damage. So that went back on the shelf. And I see some interesting DVDs. I do make a little stack here. This one you could buy new for less than $7 <laughs> on eBay. So not worth picking up. Dragonheart 5 movie collection. Thought it could be one of those niche movie sets worth some money. No. Here are some sealed Maxell CDRs. And I almost picked these up, sell them on Amazon. They're just a little, just not quite enough profit for me. Long tail. University of Georgia, Russell. Got this Adidas jacket and this nice t-shirt, Bud King. So I end up picking up those um, clothing items. Going to be some good profit, I think. Of course, I go over everything at the end of the video in the haul part. And you also see stuff that, you know, you don't see me actually pick up because I'm not recording, you know, every single second when I'm in these thrift stores. And I want to leave some surprises for the haul. Here's an aisle filled with baskets. You know, I know there's some good money in some baskets. Not something I want to sit there and flip over constantly um if, if i could get to the point where i could just spot a good basket maybe but we're just checking out this aisle seeing if there's anything unique something up here has got my attention what is it mm, little like wooden window shutter or something kind of neat sometimes stuff like that can sell people want to buy them for their houses for crafts whatever uh, again not my favorite type of thing to sell Christmas stuff, I am I like selling Christmas stuff. Um, the little Department 56 stuff, uh, Skyworks, what is it, Clayworks, I think it is. I can't even remember the name now. All kinds of little money makers, especially the vintage stuff uh, in the Christmas aisle. Not so much Easter. You know, it's hard to find good Easter stuff. There's some things I've picked up and I've sold Easter before, though. Just a couple this past year, actually. Here's something, a little Christmas village I'm checking out. Uh, I determined it wasn't worth picking up for whatever reason, so I left it there. Pumpkins, Halloween stuff I like to buy as well. Got this Hershey's Kiss, kind of like crystal candy holder. I thought, man, this could be good. I looked it up. Nah, not really worth picking up at all. I'm not selling, not selling for much. The ones that are selling. So, what else? Let's see. Got a little figurine here. It looked interesting. I like to flip over interesting things, see if there's a name, and then go from there. Got some of, the, some of these Hallmark. I think they were like little city lights for like little towns or something. And $6.99 a piece, unfortunately, a little too much. I think they were selling for like 20 bucks. So I just decided, and they weren't selling like fast or anything. So I just decided to, to leave those as well and shoes i've been doing so well with shoes oh i also found these these are the lol surprise bags of those and i think i'm going to do pretty well on those uh, i don't have a lot of experience selling them 7.99 for these shoes and what's interesting is you see goodwill's put tags on all their shoes the base price is 4.99 um, usually they price them 5.99 to 7.99 9.99 Sometimes 15, 20 bucks, depending on the shoe. What I've noticed since this, this video is from like, I don't know, a month ago, uh, this footage, in that month, they've got rid of all the, the price stickers. Like every shoe now is $4.99. I have not seen any shoes priced up. So that's kind of interesting. And I, I see this happen a lot. Uh, <laughs> 
they price up shoes for a while then all of a sudden they're just like well no no more high prices on shoes i've been doing very well uh, and a couple goodwills around here that have it priced up shoes i assume it's something to do with management maybe but i'll take it <laughs> so we'll just keep looking and i come around the corner all creepy hello shoes it's me wick and i'm looking for you so i don't know um there's all kinds of shoe opportunities really i look for certain things boots like the athletic brands and of course i've mentioned i don't know a lot of good women's brand shoes uh, san antonio shoe company shoes stuff like that uh, some boots usually well those are just like the cheaper boots usually don't sell those they're just way too saturated anything you can get at walmart or a place like that target usually not worth a whole lot and let me know if you see anything really special these look kind of neat but i think they're just like a no-name brand or something i don't know i don't remember even really looking at them that much but i did see these down here these are new balance and they're very clean almost new 12.99 and uh, i decide to buy them because you know what they're size 15 they're so clean comps were looking pretty good on them so i can make a little bit of money there's not really any work cleaning them involved a couple of new carts come out though so i go over and look at these Got some more shoes down here, and I didn't see anything special here, uh, even though that symbol kind of looked like North Face, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Got a cart over here. Um, yeah, old coffee maker. Some of those old coffee makers can be good. Notebooks. Even some notebooks can be good. Find some vintage Lisa Frank notebooks. I sold a Lisa Frank binder not long ago. I've mentioned for about $130. Here is a little you know, vintage toy of some sort. Usually that stuff's not worth picking up. Also got this John Deere hat, Steelers hat. John Deere hat, I ended up putting back. It's just too new. Uh, they're too saturated. Of course, some of the vintage John Deere hats can go for hundreds of dollars. So that's usually what I'm after. I picked up the Steelers hat because, well, why not? You know, I might make a little bit of money, hold on to it for a while. It's a pretty good hat. Over here, I thought this was going to be good. This is an Oreo cookie jar. This is in amazing condition, only $5.99. I'm like, oh, that could be really good. I looked it up. I could have made maybe like $10 in the end. Um, shipping breakables like that, I don't want it. I just decided to pass on it. There are some Oreo cookie jars, though, that were selling for around 100 certain ones. That one, just unfortunately, I kind of wanted to buy it because it's because it was cool, I thought. I was like, I don't need something else like that sitting around. So over here, checking out the stationary aisle. And there's a lot of stuff to look at here. don't want to miss anything. Going kind of slow, but I see something really nice here. These ink cartridges. I've already sold these as well. I think I sold them for about $35, $36 a piece. And they sold very quickly. $3.99. And they weren't even expired. Expired in 2023. So we also got some photo paper here. They've been opened, so I decided to pass on them. Some of that photo paper can be worth picking up to flip. Especially the full, like, legal letter sheet size um, I picked up before and sold for good money. We're in Salvation Army now. I had a very good day in Salvation Army. Here is some cookware. What would have been good to pick up and make some money on. But when I opened the box and checked into it, somebody just put their old, like, mainstays, the Walmart brand stuff in there. So wasn't what was in the box. Always check your boxes at thrift stores and garage sales. Uh, you don't want to spend thirty dollars on that kind of dirty junk uh bags i got this tape measure here the stanley 25 foot 7.99 again it's something you can make a little bit of money on it's just for me it's like eight dollars you know I, I might double my money i just decided to pass on it so over here looking at some toys we got some bags of cars i see some road rippers in there some of those can be okay i did end up putting this back but uh, i got some intel over there that some stuff came out on the the counter so i decided to go over and check that stuff out real quick you know anytime something new and interesting comes out of the thrift store uh, i kind of want to go check it out because it could be good and sure enough i get over there to the counter and it is something i want to pick up and i ended up getting it all for 65 dollars uh, some more stuff i don't think you even seen there on the counter they were bringing stuff out to put in the, the case all this vintage stuff, so I grabbed it. 
even got some free items, <laughs> which I'll show you in the haul. But yeah, let me show you everything I did pick up today. Some good, good stuff. It's that time we're going to go over what I picked up and we'll start with some of these vintage toys I got at Salvation Army. They were putting them out, starting to price them. I was interested in them. You can see they priced this Chatty Patty $35. I think that's the only one they actually put a price on. But the lady told me I could have them all for $65. So I'm just like, you know what? Okay, I'll take them. This happened fairly recently with some Star Wars toys uh, they were pricing. So got them all for $65. Did not look them up. And you know what? They're not worth... A whole lot of money. Berestein Bears, you can see there it came from a KB toy store. Vintage. I think they're all from the 80s actually. You know, this is probably worth $30. You got Chatty Patty. It actually works. You pull the string in the back and she talks. It seems to be completely new as well. And I should be able to sell that for about $40, it looked like. 40 plus shipping. Now, this is one I remember seeing a comp for $60. This Care Bear, Funshine Bear, posable figure. You can see the plastic's yellowed. Happens a lot with plastic, especially once it gets so old. But this is brand new, sealed as well. So if I can sell that for $50, $60, it's going to be a oh, pretty good profit once everything sells in this lot. Then we got the My First Barbie. I think this is from like 86. And again, not worth a whole lot, maybe 20 bucks. Now I have to figure it up and see how much money I'm actually going to make on selling these four items. But here's a few other things I picked up at Salvation Army. I got these Bibles and this one was selling for about $60 pre-owned. You got this one, I think was selling for about $20 pre-owned and these ended up being free. Now, before everyone <laughs> gets angry with me for taking free Bibles and selling them, I offered to pay for these and they would not allow me to pay for them. It says limit one Bible per family. And I said, you know what? I'm getting two. Let me pay for them. And she said, I'm not going to make you pay for them. So, you know, I tried, I tried to give them money for them, but yeah, these are going to be some a good profit on those. And I got these Drew shoes here. They've been in the case. They had them priced, I think, $50, right? Yeah, $49.99. They are new. I wasn't going to pay that. They eventually half off, so I decided to go ahead and give them a shot. There's a pair on there now for $250, most certainly overpriced. But there are some Drew shoes that have sold new, similar to this, not this exact model. And they do sell for over $100, so I'm probably going to try $100 on these, plus shipping. And I should make some good profit on the shoes. Oh, also, during the toys, they brought these out and asked me if I wanted the comics since I was buying the other toys. And they said a dollar a piece. I think there's 10 here. I just went ahead and took them. I don't think there's anything here too valuable. Just kind of go through it. Some of them are from the 80s. Uh, there's a few newer ones in here. But, uh, you know, for $10, I think I could lot them together and still make, you know, maybe 20 bucks on them. I don't know. I'll probably just hold on to them for a while. If any comic experts out there <laughs> recognize any of these as being valuable, I mean, this is like 99.9% .9 of comics are just not very valuable, right? But yeah, I picked them up anyway. They're cool. So let me go into this stack of clothing. I got this Steelers hat at uh, Goodwill. It's a Reebok hat. They're not worth a whole lot. Pay $2.99 for it. I still think there's a little bit of profit to be made there. I got this cool Bud King uh, Kenny. What is it like? Some sort of racing. It might even be F1 or something. First to 300 miles per hour. You can see the graphic there. Let me pull it out. Pretty cool graphics. Some similar shirts. I couldn't find this exact one. It was selling between 30 and 50 bucks. This Bud King one with the frog or chameleon, I guess, is uh, pretty awesome looking and pretty unique. So I'm probably going to price it $40, $50, see if it sells like to price my vintage stuff higher uh, sit on it for a while we got this Russell University of Georgia sweatshirt um, I don't know what this is worth uh, couldn't find any exact comps on this one either pretty sure it's older um, I think it'll sell for 20 25 dollars maybe 30 bucks at least and I just picked up this Adidas windbreaker it's got you know the writing on the sleeves these were only $4.50. Well, the shirt was only $2.99. I could probably sell this jacket for $20, $25. I also bought it because I might actually keep it. So, But within that stack, there's some profit there for sure. So at Goodwill, I picked up these New Balance Fresh Foams. They are size 15. They're pretty much new, maybe been worn like once. Paid $12.99 for them. They're not going to be great profit. I'll probably make $20 profit on them. 
uh, but there's no work involved listing them. And because they're size 15, I can probably mark them up a little bit. That's going to make them sell better. So with all those factors in place, I pay the $12.99 and I think I'll make some money. They'll move. So I picked up some of these um, LOL surprise dolls. I don't know much about these at all. I found it humorous that these were, one bag was $7.99. The other bag, which has the same amount in there, $14.99. Do not understand why they priced them like that. Uh, but I got them both for $7.99. Uh, the lady at the register is just like, yeah, that don't make sense. You can have them both for $7.99. Uh, so I don't know how much profit's here. I saw some lots selling for over 100 with about this many. You got the dolls. You got a lot of accessories in there. Some of the pets. At that price, I don't think I can go wrong. I think I'm going to make some profit. I also noticed there's some single ones that sell anywhere up to well i saw one sell for forty dollars so um there might be some good ones in there you let me know in the comments if you think it's worth going through <laughs> trying to figure out you know which one's valuable or just do a lot anyone who sells these you know has more experience than i do i'll probably just end up doing a lot to save time last week i picked up one of these bakugan balls at the same goodwill for a dollar 99 it was a red one it was worth about 25 30 dollars if i remember right this one's worth 20 I found another one. I don't know if it was there. I just didn't see it before. But yeah, if, you know, for $1.99, I'll pick it up, flip it for 20 bucks. I also paid $5.99 for this HP Light Scribe a DVD RW burner. It's one, it's an external one that you plug in. Uh, it's got the power supply there. So what I'm going to do with that, I think I was selling it for $25, $30 plus shipping. I've seen them sell for. And this right here is interesting. I picked this up for $19.99. Actually, a guy I see there a lot pointed it out to me. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't even noticed it. It was uh, mixed in with the dishes, but it is attachments, um, some sort of pasta attachments for a, I think, KitchenAid or Hobart mixer, some high-end mixer. And you can see that the brand is more like a Chinese type brand, um, private label, but still on Amazon, these were selling for over $200 new. These seem to be new in there. Like the box is kind of destroyed and they're still wrapped. I'll have to check them, but even used open box like this, I should make, you know, at least $60 profit. Here's a smart water filter I picked up. Um, I'll make about $10 profit on that. And we got the ink cartridges here. Now, these sell for about $40 a piece. I just noticed they're different. The one's black and one's a tricolor. I'm not sure which one I actually looked up, uh, but one... You know, I, I figured I'd make at least $20 profit on there, so $40 between these. They're not expired still. 2023, it's rare to find non-expired ink sometimes at Goodwill. But I love finding filters and ink and stuff like that. You know, just between these items right here, it's like $50 profit. They're easy to list, easy to sell. That's it, everybody. That's the haul for today. We got a good stack of profitable items here. Gonna go ahead and get some of this stuff listed, especially the shoes, because I got over here on this table, <laughs> I got... All these shoes ready to list, got them cleaned up yesterday. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today. And we can just throw these New Balance right over here because they're ready to go after I remove the Goodwill sticker anyway. But before you go, please hit that like button. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. I'd also appreciate it if you subscribed and I do really appreciate you watching. This has been Wick, until next time.